I'm seriously thinking about not even decorating for fall, just full on going into Halloween and saving the fall items for November. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and I love the Dollar Tree. Every time I go, I try to share my haul with y'all. So if you like Dollar Tree hauls, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button and stick around. I feel like towards the end of the year, as we're getting into all the holidays, I go more often, maybe like twice a month instead of once a month or once every three weeks-ish. So I definitely have a lot to share with you guys today and it is an explosion of Halloween. We're having Kira from Fifty Shades of Mom. I will leave her channel link down below, but her family is gonna come over. We're going to rent, hopefully, I haven't called yet, but I'm assuming I still have plenty of time, we'll see. But we're going to rent a, some kind of big bouncy house for the kids to play on. We may do arts and crafts or scavenger hunt or something for the kids. We're just gonna have a fun day, not necessarily night, who knows? Maybe if they're having so much fun, we'll take it into the dark hours. I don't know about that yet. But we definitely have a fun day planned for Halloween, October 31st. And if you guys have been out anywhere or seen any hauls online from any store, you know that Halloween stuff is already exploding everywhere. So like with most stores, when you see something, if you want it, you've got to pick it up. So I have a lot of Halloween stuff. I can't wait to share it with you guys. And that's why I'm thinking I want to go ahead and decorate so I can see what I have or maybe just like faux decorate, put things out so I know what I've got. And that way I know if I want anything more to add to the space for our like fun day, but it's going to be decorated the entire month. I'm excited. That's why I'm talking so much. So let me just stop talking. I'm going to show you guys. I have a few items that are not Halloween related or holiday decor related. So I'm going to show you guys those first and then I'll save all the Halloween stuff for last. So I'm gonna be sharing bath bombs with y'all first. My girls love bath bombs. They just like taking what we call like a play bath. They don't really wash themselves up, themselves up. They just get in there, they take showers, get all clean, and every now and then they'll ask to just take a fun bath where they have a bath bomb, they take some toys in there, and they just play. Most of the time, they're in their bathing suits if both of them are in there at the same time. Sometimes just Pearl will want to get in the bath and play around in the water and she just gets in without anything. But when more than one child gets in there, they do wear bathing suits and they're running kind of low. I have a lot of bath salts for me, but as far as like the fun bath bombs, we don't really have anything. So I went ahead and stocked up. Maybe if we go through these before Christmas time, then great i mean they're only a dollar each but i'm thinking some of these would be great for stocking stuffers or i haven't yet made a decision on the advent calendar that we do every year or any of that yet so i need to because if you guys have been following me for any amount of time you know i like to get things done ahead of time and plan and and all that good stuff so i'm going to show you guys quickly the ones that i picked up the dollar tree has a ton so here's a very colorful star and it just says spa goals. It doesn't say anything about the scent. This one is a watermelon. I think they all just say hashtag spa, spa goals, bath burst, but nothing about the scent. But look at that watermelon. I thought that was super cute. And then we've got a unicorn and it looks like there's glitter in this one. It's very sparkly. Here's another sparkly one. And this one is in the shape of a heart. And I don't think this one is sparkly. It just has some blue specks all in it. And you can see it's a little cat face. And then last but not least, this is actually the theme of the girls' bathroom upstairs. It is a mermaid tail. And this one looks like it has some kind of shimmer to it as well. Okay, now I have a small little pile of just random things all thrown together that I saw and wanted to pick up. So this item, I believe, used to be, I don't know if... Is this something that was like at Target or was this in their dollar plus section and now they've just lowered it to a dollar? I only paid a dollar for it though. So this is just something fun to have outside. It is the plastic horseshoe and ring toss two in one game. There's the back. So it's got the two sticks or stakes that go into the ground and then you can either use the horseshoes to throw around them or the rings. But I thought that would just be something I mean, obviously very budget friendly to pull out either for Halloween 
during the day or anytime friends are over um, for the kids to play. Okay, so I got some plastic <laughs> containers uh, for the kitchen. If you guys missed my kitchen like clean with me organization, I got rid of most of my plastic dishes like this or containers. And then I don't remember what it was probably Kira or something. It was either Kira or my mom. Those are really the only two people that we've been interacting with lately. But I had leftovers or I made a dessert. Anyway, I was sending food home and it needed to be in a closed container, not just on a paper plate like cookies or something. It was something that was a little messy and I didn't have really anything that if it was for Kira or my mom, I know I'm gonna get my thing back, like my glass dishware back, but I hate sending those out of the house. So I picked these up <laughs> to have on hand for when I do have leftovers or making something for somebody, that way it's not the end of the world. If I don't get it back, I won't miss it. So I'm gonna just wash these, stick them in a cabinet in the butler's pantry area, and that way they're just there for me to use. But I do love that the Dollar Tree has name brand containers. These are rubber made, they're called take-alongs. It says it has a quick click seal. And I got two, well I got one, it's a two pack of the deep squares. It holds five and a half cups or 1.2 liters. And again, it does come with the lids. And then I got one of these, which is also, it's super dark in my office. I mean, it's gloomy outside when I'm filming this, but you can see there, there's two in here and these are squares and they hold 2.5 nine cups. They are both BPA free. It says made in the USA, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, freezer safe, and the base is recyclable. So I think that's really cool. Went ahead and picked those up again, just so I have something that I'm okay with leaving the house and I don't have to worry about getting it back. Another type of container. I am a sucker for these things. I don't feel like I have that many small items to contain. I just see these and I'm drawn to them. I feel like I wish I was more organized. I mean, I'm not awful. I'm pretty organized, but I could do better. So I picked these up. I thought they were really cute. I have not shown them to my oldest daughter yet, who is definitely the artsy one in the family. So she might want these to use for anything. You could easily spray paint the lid if you didn't like the silver, but this was the only color that I found and I just love the shape of them. So does it tell me? They're just calling it a craft bottle, which is basically what it is. You could turn these into snow globes with your kids or if you are an expert DIYer or really good at DIYing, I'm not the best. You could totally do something with these. Uh, but it does not tell me how much it holds, at least not that I see anywhere, but I did, I'm like, I picked things up in three also, no idea why, but I did get three of these. Three more crafty items or items from the craft section. My girls love arts and crafts. So I did pick these up. I've never seen these before. I've picked up the handprints and I've talked about those before. We love them but I've never seen the people cut out, the little girl, the little boy, but I love having these little things on hand and they're just calling them paper shapes. There's 10 in each uh, when it says multicultural colors. So I did pick those up for the kids just for any future um, craft activity that we do. And for Paige, I picked this up and this is something that I'm just gonna toss in her bin. Each of the kids have a little bin in my closet that when I see things, I pick things up and I can save for future um, use, mainly like as we're heading into the holidays for holiday use, advent calendar, stocking stuffers. Um, we do have two elves that come visit us that sometimes the elves raid my little bins and they leave things out for the kids sometimes. So I thought this was really cool that she might enjoy it. She doesn't really color with these that often right now. She's more of a colored pencil slash paint, but I just thought this would be something extra for her to mess around with, with her artistic abilities. And these are by Crafter Square oil pastels there's 12 colors in here and it says they are the premium bright and i'm just assuming oh yes it tells you here on the back is that close enough it gets real dark when i get close in um but it does show you the colors that are there on the back so white yellow orange red pink burnt sienna blue light gray dark green light green brown and black so i thought that was great for one dollar and then last but not least in my little like extra section. I picked these arm floaties up. So we had a couple of kids over um, a few weeks ago and we took them to our neighborhood pool. They're younger, 
so obviously they're not the best at swimming and I didn't have any of these and they're used to using these. So they were a little bond that they had to stay with me in the shallow end. I mean, I took them out on floaties and everything, but it's not like they could just jump in and swim on their own with the floaties. So I thought for a dollar, I would pick up two to just throw in my closet and that way I have these for the next time. Now, I don't know when our neighborhood pool closes, but I'll have them already for next year because we are getting to the end of the pool season. But for again, for a dollar, I realize this might be something nice to have on hand. And they are just swim armbands for four and up. I got the two different color combos they had. Okay, and now I've <laughs> got quite a bit of food items to show you guys. So nine Halloween related food items. I picked these up just for a quick afternoon snack or as a sweet treat with lunch whenever since this was a three pack these are perfect for my younger three kids my oldest daughter would not be interested in eating these but I don't think they've ever tried these before they are the rice crispy treats snack snap crackle poppers in vanilla cream so I'm just, it looks just like a rice crispy treat and then like coated in like a white vanilla chocolate. I don't know. My kids have had Rice Krispie treats before. We actually don't eat them that often, but I know that they, I'm thinking that they might enjoy that as just a sweet little extra treat. And then Pop-Tarts isn't something that I pick up all the time, but when I see food at the Dollar Tree, I mean, I don't know. It's just like, oh, it's a dollar, pick it up. <laughs> so that's what I do. I know, I, I know I, I can't be the only one who does that. But this is the Pop-Tarts limited edition red, white, and blueberry. So I'm assuming this was really popular or came out around July 4th for that holiday or even Memorial Day, but there's eight in there. So that will last a little while for my younger three. I'll have to actually have my oldest look at it because most of the time she is okay with the Pop-Tarts that are the fruity ones. They are like blueberry, strawberry, that kind of thing, but she'll have to look and just see what she's okay with consuming and then what she would rather not. I think it's the gelatin in this that she's going to say, eh, no, I'd rather not. But I will let her look at the ingredients and make a decision on that. But my younger three, for sure, whenever I buy Pop-Tarts, because it's not like a staple in our house, like cereal is a staple <laughs> for breakfast. But Pop-Tarts are just something that I randomly pick up here and there. And to switch gears for a second, I've got more food to show you, but I picked up these Peace teas. I've picked these up before, but they've never had them in the zero sugar one before. So I got two, one for Paige, and then I don't know if I would like this, but I thought maybe my husband would want to give it a try. If he does it, then I might try it. Or if Paige really likes it, she's got two. But these are huge. They are 23 ounces. This is five calories per can. This was the only flavor I saw, the Razzleberry. And again, it says zero sugar, peace tea, naturally flavored and other natural flavors. So again, I just went ahead and picked two of those up. So if you guys are new, you do not know that I am a lover of all things pumpkin spice. I know, I said it, there's people out there who are not into pumpkin spice and oh man, are you missing out? That's all I gotta say. You're either for it or against it. I am for it all day, every day. This is definitely my time of the year, fall is my favorite when it comes to flavors, my favorite. So I saw these, it is a name brand, it's Palmer. I don't know if they're gonna be good. I'm not sure about that. And my husband is not a fan of pumpkin spice. I mean, is it a saying that you marry your opposite? We have so many things in common, yet so many things that are just stark differences. You know, just so many things. And this is one of them. He does not like pumpkin spice at all. So this whole bag, maybe my younger three will enjoy it, but I did go ahead and pick this up. I have a little candy jar on my kitchen island that our mommy snacks, I share, but it's what I pick out that goes in that jar. So this is what I picked out. This is a small little bag, so it's not gonna last very long, but it just says pumpkin spice cups. It's like Reese's peanut butter cups with a chocolatey shell and it's filled with creamy pumpkin spice center. That sounds good. Hopefully it is. Actually, hopefully it's not. It's just so-so. That way, the next time I go to the Dollar Tree, I don't feel like I need to pick up another bag. You feel me? And then the rest of the items I got for, with Halloween in mind. So this is actually a repeat buy. I picked this up last time, but I only picked up one package because that was before I knew exactly what we we're doing for Halloween. 
now that I know, I know how many kids are gonna be here, the amount and all of that, and I have a better idea on what I'm shopping for. So I did go ahead and pick up another pack. They have four in them, and it's just the Sour Apple Zombie Lollipop Fingers. And I think I said it last time, but they look more like witch fingers to me than zombie, but hey. I guess they could go for either. All right, I picked this up because I know my kids are going to get a kick out of these. These are called Bon Bon Bum. There's 12 in here. Intense flavor tongue painter bubblegum pops. So it's a lollipop. It's got bubblegum in the center. I'm assuming they are all, no, they're not all. Oh, I think it's a mixture of grape and cherry flavors because there is a, hold on, let me put the rest of it down. There's a picture of some grapes on here and cherry. So I bet half of them are grape, half of them are cherry. And I don't know if they, <laughs> y'all, it says black cherry and black grape right here. So I'm assuming it paints your mouth black, like a really dark color, but I know my kids will probably get a kick out of that. So I got those. And then my husband was with me and I saw these and I was like, mm, I don't know. And he was like, yes, get them. So I picked up three of these boxes and I think I'm just going to separate them and put them in other little baggies or something um, because I didn't want to pick up like six or seven boxes of these. I just thought that might be too much, but these are sour boogers. It says not your regular gummy. It's a box of sour boogers, tangy gummy boogies that look and feel real. 3.25 ounces and again I got three boxes but what that does not sound appetizing at all this is definitely more of a novelty thing <laughs> that just sounds so gross but again it's Halloween and gross is in on that day I guess right so we'll see how the kids react to these okay and then last in the food section I picked this up for Halloween also it's not really Halloween themed I just thought it was something fun and different I was trying to just get a few things that were different it's not all going to be candy for the scavenger hunt, but I know when my kids go trick-or-treating, they're used to getting like a big old bag, every dentist nightmare, right? Big old bag of candy. So one, I wanted them still to get a few sweet things, but I wanted them to be a little different, not your regular like Kit Kats and stuff like that. Maybe we'll still do something like that, but I wanted to kind of veer off from the traditional Halloween trick-or-treating, you know? So I got these. These are Pop Rocks. There's three in each pack, so I've got six total. And this is the crackling gum flavor. They had one or two other flavors, but I just got the traditional gum. So I picked those up again, just to change things up. I know my kids will enjoy seeing these. Okay, so change of scenery. I figured because of the amount of Halloween items I have, it's just easier for me to sit on the floor and pull things up versus sitting on my chair and keep bending over and all the editing that I have to do in between that. Cause you guys don't want to see me do this like 20 times <laughs> waiting for the camera to refocus. So change of scenery. Um, now we are getting into all the Halloween. I think a few things are fall, but the majority is for Halloween. So speaking of fall, this is what I picked up and I went to two different Dollar Trees and I, this was my vision, but obviously I'm not in love with the two different oranges, so I'm gonna have to find something else, but I know I'll be able to use the flowers somewhere else. So I did get several flower or floral picks, and I think I got three different kinds, yes. So we got two of these ones that have kind of like this burlap also within the floral, the regular flower petals. I thought that was really pretty. These are called dahlias, or at least that's what the tag says. I do not know my flowers, none of it. So unless the tag tells me, my guess is as good as yours. Actually, your guess is probably better than mine in that department, but I did pick these up. I thought they were gorgeous. And then I picked these two up. So these are very different, just the same. This one says Dahlia also. So I guess this is the same flower. It just doesn't have the burlap. I like the difference in that. And then this one says Mum. These are my favorite. I really love these. I like how it's not just one stark color. Can you guys see that? It's got some dark red tones down here, and then it's got a deep, like a burnt orange, and then it's very light, almost yellowy orange on the top. I just thought those were pretty, and I did, like I said, I picked those up to put together, but not in here, like I originally planned. I will be doing something else with these. So I did get a box. I have one of these from last year. Um, it does have, it is a little bit different. This one's definitely 
a new one. I just love the gold on this one. I love the blue. Blue is one of my absolute favorite colors, any shade of blue. I'm in love with it. And I love the side. Look at the details of the different pumpkins on that. So pretty. So I did pick that up. And then I got some of the foam to help stick the floral picks in different areas that I'm going to be using. Like I said, I have another one of these from last year. So maybe those flowers will work in another one. Otherwise, I'll find something else for that. But I really like this. It comes with four. One, two, see that? Four different ones that you can use. So I have four different spots to place flowers in my house. All right, so I saw Danielle pick this up and I will have her channel linked down below. She shares Dollar Tree hauls also. And the second I saw her pull this out and turn it on, which I'll do in just a second, I was like, my kids would get such a kick out of that. So I only got one. I did not get one for each of my kids. I'm just gonna pick somewhere, probably upstairs, maybe in our school room. I'm gonna put this up there and it's the motion sensor one. Yes, motion activated decor, it lights up and it says trick or treat, but that's not all it says. You ready? Now you know, my kids are all about that. You know, I mean, kids love taking something like the, what is it, Jingle Bell song during Christmas time? Yeah, they like to turn it a little on the nasty side or gross side, like smell my feet, that kind of thing. So I know my kids are going to enjoy that. So thanks, Danielle, for picking this up because I knew, like I put it on my list and I was on the hunt for it the next time I went to the Dollar Tree. Okay, so like I mentioned, I don't know if we're going to do any kind of arts and crafts. We really don't know the time frame yet for our Halloween get together, but I love these because it comes with so many in one package for a dollar. So I picked up three different craft activities and whether we want to use these for Halloween day or I end up using these, if we decide, no, we don't wanna do crafts, I'll go ahead and incorporate this into our um, month somehow with my kids. Now my son Bryce, he's nine and a half. He's not too much into the arts and crafts anymore, but I know my younger two girls will, will, and every now and then my oldest, who's 16, will jump in and do an arts and crafts activity with her sister. So I did go ahead and pick these up. Each of these come with six, um, a six count. So you can make six different pumpkins with a witch hat, six different witches wearing a witch hat, and six owls. So I thought that was great for a dollar that you get six out of this. That's just fantastic. Okay, so I got a collection of the mini buckets that they had. One, I thought this would be something that I put those little booger candies in, just setting up for or setting in different areas of my house for the scavenger hunt. And then again, I thought these would be perfect for the scavenger hunt. Now they do not have a lid, so I'll just have them sitting so our doggies will definitely have to be up during the scavenger hunt for the kids to be able to pick these up so they don't just get ahead of the kids and eat all the good stuff, you know? I thought these were a great size. So it's not like you're stuffing a whole bunch of candy in these. And these are small enough or big enough for a couple other items as well, like erasers for the school room, or if you do have little girls jewelry, or um, like my son Bryce loves to wear bracelets. So if I can find some bracelets that I think he would like, we could put bracelets in here. I just thought these were a great size. So I did pick up a couple different variations. There's only four in each. That's why I got so many different kinds. I thought at first I was gonna pick up all of one kind and then I was like, no, cause then they'll know what to look for. So I love having the different ones. So the, like I said, they each come with four. These ones are skulls. And again, no lid or anything. They're just little buckets. They do have, there you go, a little handle. And then these are cauldrons. Again, they all have the handle and just four in there. And then they had two different kinds of pumpkins. So here's your more traditional orange pumpkin with the handle, no lid. And then these ones are the bright green. All right, sticking with the skulls, I'm going to make, I don't know if I'm gonna make it more of a, no, I'm not gonna do a dessert one because the kids are going to get candy. So I'm gonna do a charcuterie board. I think I'm gonna do it, it's gonna look more fun, I think with cheeses and meats. And then I'm gonna have these around it as well. I'll definitely share it on Instagram. You know, I'll be taking pictures and stuff like that. I don't know if we're gonna vlog. I think maybe I've gotten kind of out of the vlogging when we do family things like that, but I definitely will share pictures on Instagram and maybe here, I know, 
I'm not super active on the YouTube stories, but I try <laughs> to remember, but I did pick these up. I thought these would be great within a charcuterie board. So this is just an eight pack of skulls. And then this is an 18 piece of bones. So I'll make sure to wash them, get them nice and clean before any food touches it. So sticking with the skulls, I found these two just for decor. Make sure you ask your cashier to wrap these because last year, I, I don't know if they had the white last year. My memory is crap. I don't remember things like that, but I'm pretty sure they had something similar to this and I picked one up and when I got home, it was with something else breakable and they were both broken. And I was like, ah, so now I try to ask, I'm like, hey, can you wrap that for me? Or put like an extra little bag around it, something like that so it doesn't get broken. But just wanted to say these are pretty fragile, but they look super awesome and cool. So I did pick them up. They had a white one and then this one is like psychedelic. Look at that. So cool. I got these little ghosts. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put these inside or outside. We do have a tree, a pretty big tree in our front yard. So I thought these would look pretty cool hanging from the tree, but regardless, they will find a place somewhere and they are pretty long. I can't even get it in the whole frame. So not necessarily a change of scenery, but I needed to get up on my knees, tired of sitting. All right, I got some paper plates and napkins. I thought these would be great to use for Halloween. I got two packages of the napkins. There's 18 in each. One of them would probably have been enough, but I went ahead and got two just to make sure I have enough on hand. We'll just use them after the fact. Napkins will never go to waste in my house, but I love the print on here. The different pumpkins, the eek, happy Halloween, boo, super cute. And then the same thing, I got two of the matching plates. There's 18 in here, that's upside down, there you go. So it's the same thing, it's got the pumpkins, the different pumpkins on there. I got two packages of the balloons. So whether our little get together goes into the night where it's dark outside or not, I thought this would be fun regardless. We can use these inside, we can turn off the lights for a little bit, or we can use them outside um, as like the end of the night type of thing. The kids can just hang outside, play with these balloons, hit them to each other or something. But these are balloons with glow sticks. So they're gonna glow in the dark and there's six in each package. So obviously, once you have kids, the holidays are all about the children, right? At least in my house, it's all about the children. But you can't forget the adults. So I did pick up these shot glasses. I thought these would be fun. Now whether I use them for us to actually take shots, I don't know if we'll do that with kids here or anything like that. This is not like an adult party. But I also thought maybe I could get some dry ice and this could be some kind of decoration on the bar top with the food out in front of it and the dry ice kind of, you know, doing what it does and looking cool and spooky. So I did pick up two different kinds. I think they had, or not two different kinds, but two different colors. I think they had this in orange as well, but I wanted it to be dark just in case I did use it for the dry ice. So these ones are black and it just says 2.2 fluid ounces, shot glasses, and if you can see there, it's like a skeleton hand grabbing the glass. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I did get it in the purple as well. Oh, I wanted to go ahead and stick with the theme. Went ahead and got the plastic silverware to use or plastic utensils. And I opted to just pick up the black just to, again, to stick with our theme. I got two packages just to make sure with kids, you never know. I mean, they drop things and all of that. And I figured it would just be easier to have these versus running out of my like silverware stash. All right, so these are new. I have picked up, they the Dollar Tree has sold chair covers before, but they've always been super tiny. I keep picking them up thinking they're gonna fit my chairs and they never do. These ones look huge. There's definitely a difference in these chair covers than the ones that they have sold previously. So I did go ahead and pick four of these up because I do have, at our dining room table, we only have four chairs and then a bench. <sighs> I might go back and get four more. I'll make sure these fit first. But in our kitchen where the kids are gonna be sitting, I think that's where I'm gonna put these because there's just four chairs around that. I might go pick up some more. I think I'm gonna open one up, see if it fits, and then maybe I'll go pick up some more so all the chairs have these. But I thought that was super cool that they look, they just look bigger. So hopefully they will fit more 
varieties of chairs because those other ones that they had never ever fit. I've been through a couple different chairs types and styles and they've never fit them. So fingers crossed this time is the charm and they work. I don't know why I picked this up. I just thought that maybe somebody would get a kick out of it. This is a creepy cover for your toilet. And we do have a little half bath downstairs that, you know, most of the time is for guests when they're over. It's just convenient. So I thought I'm going to put this on top of the toilet, the like the top, the cover. So when you walk into the bathroom, you see these because I am not a fan of spiders. A lot of people are not fans of spiders. They had a couple different kinds. They had like an eyeball to where it looked like something was looking up at you. But I was just really grossed out by the spiders. I've never purchased anything like this before, so hopefully it sticks well and it works, but ooh, that's just nasty. But I picked it up and we're going to give it a try. You guys, I have got, I love this light that we put in here, but I need a fan when I'm filming and like more light because the light fixture that we have up right now, can you even hear me talking? That was super loud. The light fixture that we have up right now is very dim. There's not a lot of light in this office. So I have an extra light on and it's like a sauna. I mean, I don't think anybody has commented on any old videos of mine whenever I'm filming in here, but I swear I always have like beads of sweat everywhere. This light is a sauna. All right, anyway, perfect use for this pack of pencils. My own personal fan. Hold on a minute, I'm gonna be a second. All right, enough of that. I'm cooled down for at least another minute. <laughs> but I did pick up some pencils. Now these are not for the party. They're not gonna be sitting out. This is actually for my kids, my younger three, to use for the month of October for our schoolwork. If you guys did not know, we have chosen to homeschool our kids. I purchased a separate curriculum. So we are doing that. Definitely always need pencils. Went ahead and picked these up. They had, I think, another kind there. Um, and they're both cute. This is just the one I happened to pick. But there's 12 in here and it has ghosts and pumpkins and skeletons and black cats and spiders all the halloween feels i don't know if these work but i thought it would be super cool i picked up two of them and my thought is to put them on our back door going out into the backyard we have like a french door type of thing where both of them open only one of them has a handle but there are two just glass nothing on it, no blinds or anything. So I thought it would be kind of cool to put these on there. We'll see. It says that they light up door decor 30 by 60. They had several different kinds in this as well. I went ahead and picked up the skull. I tried to get like kid friendly stuff and then a little bit more creepy also. <laughs> so hopefully by the end of this, when I'm decorating, it's a nice mixture and not too creepy or scary for the younger kids. All right. Talk about creepy or scary. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I got, let me show you. I got these also, these like garland. So I have a couple different ideas. I have my staircase right when you walk in the front door, it's kind of just right there. So I could do some kind of garland or this on that. I'm not decorating upstairs, but since you see that right when you walk in the house, I thought it would be cool to put something on it. So that's why I picked the different options up and then above my fireplace I've got that and then in my kitchen my bar is a little like abnormally high it's not normal so that's a great place to hang some kind of garland or something off of as well so I picked up different options for me to mess around with these are called fright tape so I got this one that says enter if you dare it's got the dripping blood on there and then the skull and crossbones and it is 30 feet then I saw this one and this one says no trespassing with the skull and crossbones and it's got like blood splatters on it. Same, yeah, 30 feet. And then I saw these garlands. They have a couple different kinds. I like these ones the best. They, they also had one that says happy Halloween, but I really just wanted the character. So I actually picked up two of the skeleton because if I do use it on the stairs, I felt like I might need more. And these are so cute. Let me show you guys. Does it say how long this is? It doesn't tell you how long the garland is, but. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's so cute. So I did get two, again, of a skeleton because I'm hoping that this will work on my stairs. I thought that would be really cute there. And then I got the ghost. And, oh, it's not just ghosts. Hold on. 
This is super cute. This might look good in the kitchen. I'm gonna show you this one also. Again, this one doesn't tell me how long it is. It just says garland. Oh, so this one is ghost, pumpkin, and bat. And then kind of repeat. Well, not really repeat. Pumpkin, ghost, pumpkin, bat. Anyway, you get it. Those are the three on there. That's really cute too. All right, so I picked up a bunch of these because my kids change their minds every single year. Sometimes they want to carve pumpkins. Sometimes they want to do both. They want to paint, carve, put stickers on. So I always pick these up and I always pick up multiple kinds and that way I still have a few from last year. I have multiples and I want to cover, not cover, but I want to put a bunch of pumpkins on my front porch this year. And I don't know if we're going to do any kind of pumpkin activity on Halloween either with Kira's family. So long story or long reasoning for saying why I picked up so many. But also I wanted to show you guys the tons of different options that the Dollar Tree had. So I got, I got two different sticker packs. There's, it says makes four pumpkins. They glow in the dark. Yes, both packs glow in the dark. Pumpkin decorate kit, exposed to direct light to activate glow. And it has four different faces in there. So let's get the glare off. And you, there we go. So there's the four different options in this pack. And then here, you can see the stickers right there. And then I got this one because this one had different ones in there. So again, it makes four pumpkins and it's just a sticker kit. And then this set is a pumpkin decorating kit. Again, it makes four and it includes 35 foam pieces. So I picked this set up and this one. And then this next set is a little bit more hands-on. Now it shows the pumpkins being painted. Obviously you don't have to paint your pumpkins, but it does go to the effect of it. It looks really cool. So I picked up four different ones that I found. Here's your blue shark. This one is a llama. Oh my gosh, how cute. Then we've got the panda and the sloth. Moving right along, I picked up two of these wall decorations, de wall decoration, 42 by 72. They're both the same size. I don't know if these are going to work or if they even look good, but again, I have two spots in the house that I think would look good. I might do, I'm not going to vlog on Halloween, but maybe I'll do like a setup, like how it looks or something like that. But I did pick up two different options. I got this one. I just love the simplicity of it. It's just your typical stone wall. I felt like this would be great to take pictures in front of with everybody in their costumes because it's not distracting, but it's also kind of giving you that like spooky castle feel. So I did get that one. And then this one I just was drawn to, I loved it. Just if I had a plain wall in the house that I wanted to add a little something extra to, I thought this would be cool. So I picked this one up. Okay, I got a couple signs. <laughs> this one, I love this sign it looks so good just says welcome i love that the o is a pumpkin and it's actually got a little 3d action going on it's a little cut out there glued on top i love that they're potion bottles because i also you guys are going to see got some of the potion bottles too so i thought this would kind of tie in some of the other decor that will be in the house and i got two signs actually did i say i wasn't decorating upstairs i'm not decorating upstairs for the party i'm just going to decorate a couple areas that i typically decorate for for each holiday or that typically has some kind of household decoration in so i pick these two up for upstairs and like the kids hallway area I loved both of them. I love the different sayings on them. So this one says, Happy Halloween, witches, beware, spooky, boo, creepy, and haunted. And then this one says, trick or treat, happy haunting, haunted houses, jack-o'-lanterns, toil and trouble, cobwebs, and black cats. Back down to the ground for the last few items. I told you, I got a ton of Halloween stuff and I need to finish going through the two. I have two totes. And it's a mixture of Halloween and fall. So I'm going to go through that and really see what I have before picking up anything else. I mainly just knew I wanted several things from the Dollar Tree, but until I buy anything that'll last me more than a year, um, I'm going to wait and see what I already have. So this is something that I did pick up last year, but I don't remember what happened to it. I think one of the kids maybe spilt something on it or 
it got dropped and it broke. I don't remember what. I just remember I threw it away last year because it had got ruined somehow. But I love this sign. I love that they came back out with it. But it just says eat, drink, and be scary. Yes, eat, drink, and be scary. So I thought this would look really good next to whatever kind of drink station we have set up for Halloween. And until Halloween, it's gonna go next to my coffee pot. All right, I do have one of these from last year. I think it says Happy Halloween on it. I love it, it's super cute. I did not have this one though. So I thought this we might set somewhere um, maybe at the start, wherever we're gonna start the scavenger hunt for the kids, like trick-or-treating around the house or at the end. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna have it set up to where I have bags that I'm gonna set up for the kids to use when they're doing the scavenger hunt. So I think this would be a super cute, just little decor piece for that area. But again, it just says trick-or-treat. It's got the skull on it. And then the top is white, orange, black, and a little crisscross pattern. Okay, and then I picked this up. I feel like I have glitter on my face. My nose is a little itchy, <laughs> all this glitter. But I picked this up. I thought it was super cute. It says, welcome my pretties. Now, right now, currently, I still, we've been in this house for almost a year. I do not have anything in the foyer area because of the stairs curving it's like a curved area and I've just been having a hard time finding pieces that I absolutely love. I don't want to buy anything unless I absolutely love it for that space because furniture can get pretty pricey and home decor for that matter, unless you're getting it from the Dollar Tree <laughs> during the holidays, which is what I love. Anyway, but I'm hoping, I already have sort of an idea, so I'm going to be going out in the next week or two and I'm hoping I'll have some kind of setup by Halloween time, but I just really love this and I thought it would be really cute in the entryway on a little table. So I picked that up and if I don't have anything, then hey, I've got this for next year. All right, here's the bottles I was talking about. So I think these are really cool. I don't remember who I saw haul it. I wanna say Lisa from Pookie's View. I swear I'm gonna be sharing so many channels with y'all. Hopefully they're new to some of you and you have somebody new to follow, but I'll have her channel down below too. She does a lot of Dollar Tree, let me tell you. Um, and I get most of my ideas from her. When she hauls things, I'm like, oh, I gotta be on the lookout for that. So anyway, I don't think she picked up the bottles, but she picked up this stand that said potions, potion making, something like that. So I was really hoping I could find the complete set. No stand, but I still got plenty of time. But I did find the bottles. I don't know if there's any more. You guys let me know. These were the only four that I saw. All right, so this one, says zombie brew this one is unfiltered potion you guys see that there we go all right this one is the witch's brew and then this one is wool of bat wool of bat magic i just think these are fantastic for a dollar they all have the little cork stopper really good quality and then I got some books and I could not make up my mind the sizes. They had so many different varieties that you could choose from, but this is what I ended up with. I think I like that it kind of tears down and the different sizes. I went back and forth by like having all three of these in the same size just stacked somewhere, but I do kind of like the different dimensions. So these were the three that I found. I don't know if they have any other ones. You guys will have to let me know, but I think these are gonna look great in the living room, especially one other thing, I don't know if it's gonna be done before Halloween, but I'm hoping it'll be done before Christmas, is I'm going to have somebody come in and build me some shelves in our two little nooks on either place, either side of the fireplace. So I'm really excited about that, especially when it comes to decorating for the holidays, because that just makes it perfect. But I did go ahead and pick these up with that in mind, that area of the house. So again, these are all, they look like books, right? They're just little, boxes you could store things in here you could use them as a gift box for somebody but i'm just going to use them as decor so here's the first one that i chose to get in the smallest size it's got the little eyeball in there and then it says witches spell book so you guys know what movie this reminds me of oh yeah let me know down in the comments if you guys know what movie this reminds me of do not light that black candle this year don't do it 2020 has already been crazy all right and then we've got this one it says scary stories and it's just got the spider and the scroll work on the front and this one says tales of halloween it's got that like 
spooky owl on there. And I think the front says the same. Yeah, Tales of Halloween. And they all, I didn't show you the spider one, but they all open up like a box. So you could definitely use this for more than just decor. All right, you guys, that is everything that I have to share with you today. Again, I am still on the hunt for a few pieces, but sometimes I see somebody haul something and I never find it and I get kind of bummed, but that's okay. I'm very happy and lucky with what I am able to find for the places in my house, especially like, you know, this was all Halloween themed. So I'm really excited to decorate for our little get together. But if you guys like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Like I mentioned, I do share a Dollar Tree haul more like twice a month going into the last few months of the year. I just love the variety and what they offer at a discounted and budget friendly price. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to check out all my future Dollar Tree videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.